I don't want to sound like a broken record, but guys, I got to tell you, Embark has steady user retention. Peep. Check out this statement. They said cash will enter your account, fam. Not game credit. No, Washington's and Lincoln's. In honor of the finals being some real ones, I gotta bless y'all the same way they blessing us. Be back at it again with another giveaway. Like, comment, and subscribe for consideration. Back to the video. Look at what we have here. The meta pick of the finals. I assume the light bill would have dominated because of the cloak being so OP. But silly me, neglecting the fact that it takes scale for all that. Not everybody John Cena. And I'm not hating, but I couldn't count how many battles I've lost to turns and not the person that built it. I've seen full teams of turns. To have two turns with a quick res, now that's nasty work. Y'all gotta be in the group chat together, laughing it up. Trust me, that ain't cool. This has to be payback for all them seasons when I made tour from Overwatch. My baby! It's depressing, especially as someone that mains the light bill. I had to switch it up, y'all. I'm just like you guys, I embrace what's meta. So now I have a turn-based setup too. You know, you might catch me solo queuing. So I have to get extra toxic when it comes to having a defensive impact. I'm talking turrets, gas, and explosive mines with the sonar grenades, you feel me? This is my Kawhi Leonard lockdown build, y'all. If this was 2K, the Clamps badge would be on Hall of Fame. Basically, this is my draw for an Uno when the game isn't going my way. I told y'all I don't play about the experience points and I will hit the emergency safe on the build when I need to get that win. Otherwise, I have the most fun using the scar or the shotgun with the healing beam and defibrillator and the sonar and gas grenades. This is a balanced setup for me. Healing beam and defib for the core medic features. The gas and sonar grenades for offensive and defensive advances. The weapons I pick are based on the teammates I have. The shotgun can be competitive with top level weapons and so can the skull. Everybody knows about the small mag size of the skull. I compensate for the scar the same way I do for the shotgun. I always feel like these two weapons leaves the enemies with at least 5% of health after you've emptied the clip. The quick melee is enough to confirm that kill for me. I can't lie, doesn't it always seem like the dead go boom? Only comes into effect when the top player is using a shotgun? Tell me in the comments if you can relate. I've seen others use the jump pad and the zip line and other things like the glitch trap. Those are great, but really situational for quick play. Maybe in a team setting, those would be more useful.
says they're down. 